alive. These guys need to find three bikes. They have 10 weeks with only eight working days. The total budget of $6,000 to get it done. He's dreaming. Oh, enjoy it. <laughs> What is up guys, Mick Mac here, along with Mike Sleater. We are back for Wreckers to Checkers season two. Season one was a hit. We built three epic bikes, obviously fan favorite here with the Suzuki. Dill built an award-winning Kawasaki and Nige came through with an amazing Andrew Short replica. Now, hey, we built three bikes, but the best part is the money that went back to the tracks after selling them. Mate, it was so good. $25,300, Park 4 MX down in Melbourne, Kyogle Motorcycle Club and Rockhampton Motorcycle Club. Unreal to be able to give back to the community. Now it's time to get into Wreckers to Checkers season two. Make sure you like, subscribe, Ring that bell so you never miss an episode. And of course, use that hashtag Wreckers the Checkers on your own build so we can follow along your journey as we build bikes along with you. So it's that time. We got bikes in there, team members wanting to go. Let's get to this it. This is it. I know you all love the crew building bikes in season one. In season two, we have some old, some new. That's right, man. And we have a full building full of MX knowledge all the way from the Wary crew to upstairs in the range team. But I think we found someone that is perfect for it full product and accessories knowledge, and it's Sydney from the showroom. Now Sydney's away getting married. But not to worry, we have four others to introduce you to. So let's get the show on the road. Woo! But first, we needed to see if the records to check as OGs were up for round two. Mm-hmm. Breakers of Checkers, season two. You in? Absolutely. And now it was time to find our previous winner. Well, with Dill, it is possible that the results from last year may have gone to his head. <laughs> Oh, Slater, what do you need? Records of Checkers season two. You in? Uh, I'm not sure really. Come on, man. I got some rad things in store for this season. Mm. All right, then. Rad sounds good. Wait, Slater, I have two demands. I want aircon, and I don't want to get my hands dirty. Don't worry, I got you covered. In order to keep Dale happy, it was time to find some helping hands. First, we have MX Door Parts Specialist and Buyer. Been in the industry for 20 plus years and general two-wheel enthusiast with or without a motor, Jenna. Next, we have the person you go to when you want to get stuff done. Project manager, proper moto frother, and one that's not afraid to get her hands dirty, Alora. This year, we've thrown a bit of a spanner in the works and me and Slita have already gone out and purchased the bikes. So the teams are heading into this one blind. All right, so Slita and myself got together and we thought, how fitting would it be with the 125 Cup taken off and MX Door heavily involved in the series? We thought, hey, what about season two of Wreckers to Checkers? A couple of 125s. And man, 125s wear out so fast and in this day and age, there's very few manufacturers making them. So to get the color you want, the year you want, it's extremely hard. You have to have that money and you have to have to get it right on the spot. 100% mate, like COVID tax hitting pretty hard, dollars went up, buyers are out there going hard on the 125s. So I think we got a couple of gems for the boys though. What do you yeah. think? Oh man, they're under the covers. One good, one bad, both good, who knows? Check them out. All right, so bike number one, here's what we got. A RM125, 2002 model, marketplace find, five grand, 
not bad. The ad said new top end. I was a little bit skeptical on that as you always have been, but we went round there to see the guy. Everything's tight, springs are tight, foot pegs, everything, all the frame, there's nothing that rattles, it's all there. Look, we had it on the dyno and I'm pleased to say this bad boy is putting out a whopping 30 horsepower. I think that's pretty good, man. Not bad for an RM125, so. Right. But what's interesting is I believe don't quote me on this. We actually paid more than what RRP was back when it was brand new. COVID tax hit us hard on this one. 125s are a rare specimen out there <laughs> and um, I'm glad we found this one. All right, cool, so we've checked out this bike. What do you got for us, buddy? I got a gem. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, there it is, the YZ125. This is an example of what not to buy, maybe. The ad said $5,000, new top end. As you can tell, it needs some work, and I'm extremely happy with what I got because it's a blank canvas for us to do our thing with it. <laughs> <laughs> so you're extremely happy with this? Yeah, that's, that's, I got plans, I have plans. This is supposed to be a 2005. This tank doesn't really match the colorway from 05. Nothing matches the colorway from um, 05. It's got the Rusty's custom blend across the bike. We got some loose parts here. We're missing a lot of stuff, but I've used this before. The bones are there. I got some Acherby's covers. There's a lot of work to be done, but I, I do know Yamaha 125s pretty well and um, I think with our knowledge within the crew. Should be able to get it firing. So can you tell us what this pink fire breathing seat put out <laughs> on the dyno if we... Well, with extra plastic covers that we do sell here at MX Store on the spokes and the 18 inch wheel, which should come with a 19. The extra add-ons, Ballard's foot pegs as well. This did a whopping zero horsepower <laughs> at the dyno run today. We had some, some technical issues, it wouldn't run. <laughs> Uh, under load, we produce zero horsepower compared to Mic Max 30. So I got some work to do. You got some work to do. <laughs> got to some work to do. So we've introduced two new MX Thor legends to join the crew. This year, Alora will be joining Nigen's leaders team, while Jenna will be with Dylan and myself. So that's that. We have ourselves a YZ135, while Mick has an RM for round two of the competition. Now let's get into the rules. This time, the extra team members were given them only six days to build instead of the previous eight days. The budget is, well, there is no budget. However, points will be awarded for the cheapest build. So that's something the teams to keep in mind. Performance tests. Two bikes will be dyno before and after the build to see which one made the most gains. Head-to-head -head race. This time, the bikes will be put to their paces to see which bike comes out on top. And this year, we'll be keeping a closer eye on the rule breakers, so don't break the rules. 9 a.m. tools up, 5 p.m. tools down. Let's talk about the point scale. 100 points up for grabs in total. Fit and finish, cheapest build, before and after dyno numbers, race day results, test rider impression, and the most important again, the viewer vote. So make sure you get in line and vote for your favorite bike. A game is not a game if there's no consequences for breaking the rules. So this year we're deducting points for swearing, tools outside of hours, and an untidy workspace. So that's it. There's the rules and the points. It's time to get building. Here's what's coming up in episode two. This is not something you normally do. No. Oh, that's new. No. <laughs> okay, at least we know that it's cool.